Okay, so continuing on with our collaborant page experiment, uh, the next step for us is to build an individual listing page. So we have all of our different ads here, but let's say we want more information about a specific house, we want to flesh out that page. Now, the previous page we had more of an example, but what I want to do at this point is to really get into the core of this grid system is to actually whiteboard out what our pages look like. And often, this is really the way that you should be approaching um, this kind of problem when building out these pages, you should really just hash out how your page will look like in the confines of a grid. So for example, like let's imagine that this is my page. So I'm drawing it on the outside here. I apologize in advance for the lack of straight lines. Um, so consider this our browser window. We probably are going to have our navigation bar here at the top. Um, nav. Oh man, I should not be writing the text. Anyways, the next point for us is, you know, we're going to have a relatively boring layout just to really emphasize this grid stuff. So, for example, the first part is we need to differentiate. Um, well, first of all, we need to understand what our page is going to do. It's going to do two things. It's going to enable us to see more information about the actual house and give us the opportunity to contact the person that posted that ad. Very similar to how Kijiji, Kijiji does it. So, if I separate these two contents using a uh, blue color, so this is where our details will be, something like that. And that'll take up maybe three-fourths of the page. And the other part will be the uh, inquiries. We'll have that somewhere here. And so that'll be, that'll be a form. Okay, now in terms of the content here, well, first we have to distinguish between things like just a basic overview <coughs> that includes our picture. Uh, we'll use the color yellow. For that, get some Ukrainian flag colors going. So we want our picture to take up a sizable amount of the screen, maybe not half, but somewhere like four-fifths or three-fifths of the page. And then the other content will be slightly less than that. Okay? And so this is for our picture. And then here we'll have, for example, the address, the date, and the description. Okay, and so somewhere in the mixed area, it's not necessarily half-half, but just less than to give slightly more prominence to the picture. The last part is our uh, is Russia attacking Ukraine, but more but but actually it's um, it's going to be the more specific features in terms of let's say if you want to talk about utilities and so forth, and we wanted that basically to be uh, two tables split halfway. And they're just going to basically list out features, you know, like in terms of rows. And you're going to have a feature and a value. And that's my basic outline for this page. So I know that I have to do something like 75%, uh, 25%, 25 then here I'm going to do a little bit less. I know here it's, I know over here it's going to be 50, and um, oh man, that's brutal. And over here it's going to be 50 as well. And then over there it's just a little bit less than that. In fact, in the grid system, instead of it being six and six, it'll be something more like seven and five. So that kind of gives you more of a background into how the grid should be structured. I apologize for the hacky drawing, but it should give you a clearer picture. And now we're actually going to implement this.